I used to be religious. The back of my television faced the Atlantic Ocean. And like a Muslim five times a day, I face East in complete subserviency. Nintendo and Sega were my genesis and exodus, taking me away from reality. Every channel above 10 was my meditation. <laughs> or, or, or vegetation. I was devoutly observant, like a monk, wearing a robe, a bathrobe, that my mother got me. Cause she was sick of seeing me lay around the house in my underwear. I did yoga! Switching positions from the couch to the floor to the chair. Like the angel of death in ancient Egypt, I passed over channels effortlessly. Back then was like Ramadan. I fasted daily, breaking the fast during commercial breaks, eating pizza and cheesesteaks, daily amazed by ESPN's resurrection. Non-believers would call them reruns. Commercial free marathons, my heaven. Blackouts, my hell. Infomercial catchphrases became my mantra. Set it and forget it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. I turned on the set to forget that I wasn't outside playing with other kids. Started to believe that buying things could make me happy. Choose, uh, buying things could make me happy. All of your problems can be resolved in one half hour. Choosing which soda to buy is real power. And then one day, the belief stopped. The same day I started to listen to hip hop, the Roots asked me, do you want more? And I answered yes. yes. I saw the beat junkies on stage cutting records like they were holding a knife. And then one night, I witnessed a miracle. MTV? <laughs> was actually playing music videos. And the stars must have been aligned because MTV was actually playing good music videos. And a hip hop prophet came through the screen and spoke to me. He said, get out from in front of your TV. But the glow, it's so comforting. Get off of your couch. Like vertical man, what are you, crazy? <laughs> of your house. Dude, that's outside. <laughs> Sit on your front steps like they were church pews. Watch the sunset sermon. Worship your view. Become an urban nomad with a fallen stop sign as your walking stick. A bicycle as your camel. And go on your own exodus. Because too many people wander around in suits for 40 years only right. to find out that the promised land is not at the top of a skyscraper. It's just in the top of our bodies. A great man once said when you kill a man, you burn a library. I say, you destroy a trillion pictures worth of memory. Each memory picture worth a thousand words, written on fragile scrolls of brain tissue paper, stored between the universe's most holiest temples, protected by two versatile armies, fueled by an unquantifiable energy Ow! source, the heart. Turn your television off, go outside, press play, start. <laughs> <laughs>